so I'm thinking about two things, and they just popped into my head, so I like that. Um, well, one, I believe it was Seth's post today, um, on the importance of gyrating back and forth between, um, Is the idea good, but the people aren't ready? Um, um, and don't just don't get it. And the idea isn't good enough, so I need to keep making it better. And well, I think I'm doing that way more than I used to. Um, I do feel myself like suspended at one or the other, and I just. I appreciate that in, in word of encouragement because I feel like I need to bounce back and forth more. Um, I don't know why I always go to this, but I think of Roger Shank. When I first read about him going back and forth between the human and the um, computer, you know, what works here? This is cool. Oh, let's take it back here. What works here? This is cool. So, listening. Being in spaces that I feel could be changed, um, I feel want change, but being there so that you know where their heads are, um, and getting a sense of reality, I guess, and then going to this sandbox exploration place and and tinkering some more, and just back and forth between the two, and I still do believe that's the way the two-loop theory and the connected adjacency, that's the way change will happen, because our greatest resources, the people are in the institutions and the places that, anyway, hoping and seeking change. That was the other. The other thing is the app and um, feedback from the app. Um, one in particular. Well, maybe not. Even, well, yeah. I mean, Rob. I just absolutely love his feedback and got my mind reeling all over the place. But my wondering is. Um, maintaining the accessibility of it. Um, so I'm wondering about some of his ideas, if they are part of the option of you create your own mesh. Um, but I started thinking about talking to yourself and I don't know if it's the importance or the aspect of it where you really are all by yourself. It's not even your nice... Well, some of the stuff he suggested I made me think of why kids like Facebook and they liked MySpace because they could decorate it um, and make it feel like their room, you know, like decorating a dorm room. And I get that, but, so I don't know, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure that out. Um, is it best if it's completely simple and there and raw so that you are just there? It's just you and your mind. Um, I don't know. But the other aspect is... I know it can't be anything that like eats up Wi-Fi, because um, we do want this, the equity of it to be able to ac be accessed anywhere. But I do love the option of um, design, co-creating. I would love for the co-creating piece to be in there.
And it's ab absolutely, it has to be that it's, you can prototype and tweak it as you go. I don't know. <laughs> so much to think about. Um, I love that he brought up Carrie Smith, Explorer of the World. Um, linking people to that for more direction, I think is huge. I'm thinking too of separating a lot of the more directional piece I was thinking for more of a mentor, so a mentor study up on it more because that face-to-face -face element, if people really don't know how to direct their learning face-to-face -face would be nice. So that could be the prep that the mentors do because they need to be doing it as well if they don't already just know it. But then as I say all that, I, this whole rhizomatic expertise and who is the mentor, who isn't, um, and it, it needs to be a standalone. So if you don't happen to have a face-to-face -face mentor right there, I don't know, so much to think about, but so much to do, I need to do more.